All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make some text GIF here in Photoshop, which was, of course, inspired from Blank 400. I'm going to start with a smaller size artboard, which is 1200 by 1200, because it is a GIF and it's going to need to render, and Photoshop is not that good in this. Okay, from here, I'm going to go here, select a solid color. I'm going to make it in between red and pink. Click OK delete the background. Let's create three more copies of this. Press Ctrl J three times. Let's go and select the type tool, type in whatever you want. Press Ctrl T, press and hold out, scale it up. And for this, I selected the Rama Gothic Heavy. Let's go to the text layer, right click, convert to smart object. Now we're gonna make three more copies of this as well. Press Ctrl G three times to duplicate. Let's select the first one and let's go to filter, liquify. Now make sure that the density is higher and the pressure is on lower. The size of the brush is something like this, and I'm going to start from left and liquefy it to right. Click OK. Let's uncheck the first text. Click on the second text. Let's go to filter again, liquefy. And now we're going to do it into the opposite direction, starting from right, distorting it to left. Click OK. Uncheck it. Let's go to the third one. Do the same process, filter, liquefy. And this time we're going to start at the bottom, starting from the left to the right. Click OK. Uncheck, select the bottom one filter liquify. Let's start at the bottom right. Click OK. Now you can uncheck this as well. Let's collapse these. And I'm going to deselect these three solids and I'm going to go and select the top solid and click on the mask. So select the mask and press and hold control. And let's go to the top layer with the text and click on the thumbnail. So you can see this little hand with this rectangle, click on it. So it's going to highlight the text and we're going to need to delete the interior of the text. So make sure that your color is on the black and it's on the top here. Press Alt plus Backspace and this way it's going to delete it. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Uncheck the layer, check the second solid, select the mask, press and hold Ctrl. Now let's go to the second layer of the text, click on the thumbnail, press Alt Backspace, press Ctrl D. Uncheck it, check the third one, mask, press and hold control. Let's go to the third text, thumbnail click, alt backspace, control D. Now you can go and delete these text layers, press on delete. And now we're going to need to import a video texture animation in the background here. So I'm going to go and click on a new layer, drag it on the bottom, make sure to select this empty layer. And I'm going to drag and drop this animation, press and hold alt, scale it up. By the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it and use it. By the way, you can see the contrast in between yellow orange and pink is kind of low. So I'm going to go to the adjustments, scroll down and select the invert and make sure that the invert is above the video animation. I'm going to check all three solids in here. Now I'm going to go to windows, activate the timeline and click on create frame animation. Now we're going to go here to the bottom left corner and click on this button. And I'm going to bring in the video, shorten it, and we're going to need to zoom in the timeline. So go down here and select this little handle and drag it out. So it's going to zoom in the timeline so you can see all the frames. So we're going to need to shorten these text images to 10 frames each. So I'm going to bring this in to 10 frames and I'm going to select the second one and bring it out. So the second one is going to start later, 20 frames and then and the fourth one, one second and 10 frames. You also got the invert, bring it in, and also the video. Let's bring this in too. And let's go back, click on play, and this is how the animation looks like so far. Now let's go to the top layer. I'm gonna select the type tool. I'm gonna change the color to white, and I'm gonna type in Panther, press Ctrl T, press and hold out, scale it up, and I'm gonna change up the font to Archivo. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the Orhivo Extended Black Italic. Now I'm going to press and hold Alt, drag it down and duplicate. I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to put it here, rename it. I'm going to start a paragraph from the left and I'm also going to bring the text in like so. And not at least we're going to need to make this line animation. So I'm going to go and select this rectangle here and I'm going to create a really narrow rectangle. Go to the stroke, click on none select the fill and I'm going to go with white. There we go. Press control T, press and hold alt and I'm going to tilt it and I'm going to scale it somewhere around here. Now I'm going to create a lot of copies, press control J a lot of times, for example, 29 and I can select the very top, press and hold shift, bring it to the opposite direction until it's going to go out of the artboard and let's scroll down, press and hold shift, select all the rectangle and let's go up here to the three dots and select distribute horizontal center. I'm going to go here to the layers, right click, merge shapes. 
So it's going to create one shape out of it. I'm going to bring it in and now we're going to need to mask it. I'm going to select the rectangle marquee tool, zoom in, and I'm going to start from here and go all the way at the end and let's go down and mask it. So now we're going to need to animate this. Let's go to the rectangle layer, click on this arrow and here we got the vector mask position. Click on the stopwatch and bring it to the end. And now we're going to go here to this link, uncheck it and select the shape layer right here. And what we're going to need to do is just bring it into the opposite direction, press and hold shift. So this is going to animate it. There you go. It created another keyframe. I'm going to bring the keyframe all the way out and let's see what we got. Hit play. And there you go. And this is how I make this short GIF animation, which is loopable after you export. If you want to know how to export, I'm going to leave a link in the description with that link as well. And mainly this was it. Thanks for watching.